In proposition 6, we prove that if any two angles of a triangle are congruent, then we must have an isosceles triangle. Proposition 6 is the first proposition to use an indirect proof. So first, let's explain what this means. In Euclid's Elements, an indirect proof mainly centers around three simple mathematical ideas, congruent, greater than, and less than. Now suppose we have the following three statements. A is congruent to B, A is greater than B, and A is less than B. Now it is very important to notice that when we consider all three statements at the same time, one can be true and the other two must be false. With this fact in mind, then we know if that two statements are false, then the remaining statement must be true. In Euclid's Elements, this is what an indirect proof mainly is. We prove two statements false, so that the remaining statement is true. So to begin Proposition 6, we are given triangle ABC, and angle ABC is congruent to angle ACB. What we want to prove in the end is that line AB is congruent to line AC. But we must also consider the other two possibilities in an indirect proof. Line AB can be greater than line AC, or line AB can be less than line AC. First, let's assume line AB is greater than line AC. Since line AB and line AC are two unequal lines, then we can use proposition 3 to make the shorter line AC congruent to line DB. Next, we use postulate 1 to create line DC. So looking at triangle DBC and triangle ACB, we can see that by axiom 5, triangle ACB is greater than triangle DBC. Next, we can also see that both triangles share a same side. Specifically, line CB is congruent to line BC. Now, since both triangles share a corresponding side, angle, and side, then by axiom 4, triangle ACB is congruent to triangle DBC. But we also show that triangle ACB is greater than triangle DBC. It is not possible to have both true at the same time, so we have a contradiction. Now, the reason we have this contradiction is because we assume line AB is greater than line AC. So this statement must be false. Next, let's assume that line AB is less than line AC. Since line AB and line AC are two unequal lines, then we can use proposition 3 to make the shorter line AB congruent to line EC. We use postulate 1 to create line EB. So looking at triangle ECB and triangle ABC, we can see that by axiom 5, triangle ABC is greater than triangle ECB. And we can also see that both triangles share the same side, specifically line BC is congruent to line CB. Now since both triangles share a corresponding side, angle, and side, then by axiom 4, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ECB. But we show that triangle ABC is greater than triangle ECB. This is a contradiction, therefore the statement line AB is less than line AC is false. So now we are left with two false statements, and so the remaining statement must be true. Line AB is congruent to line AC.